Welcome back, everybody. The Tobago Festivals Commission will be hosting its Emancipation Day concert, Roots, an Emancipation Story, live this Saturday, August 1st. You can see this live on TTT and live online from 6 p.m. on TTT channel from 7.05 p.m. All right, so joining us from the Tobago studio is Dr. Denise Soefat Angus, Chairman of the Tobago Festivals Commission Limited. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Good morning to the world. So first off, happy emancipation. Well, I'm saying it early, as it's tomorrow. I just want to tell you, um, <laughs> wish you the best for that. Thank you, and ha happy emancipation to you and everyone. Now, let's talk a bit about the um, impact of the pandemic on the celebration of the Tobago Heritage Festival that we'll be chatting about this morning. Well, in the past, our emancipation was celebrated by a large parade on the streets. Persons would come from communities across Tobago, and of course, it was a signal to the closing of our Heritage Festival. This year, because and we would end up at the Pigeon Point Heritage Park for a concert uh, on that site. This year, of course, with the pandemic, we have not been able to do something that large given the restraint restrictions we've had to crowd sizes and social distancing but our emancipation is so significant that we could not leave out any type of celebration and so perhaps we took the opportunity to reach a larger audience through uh, virtual and so on Saturday, the 1st, August 1st, we have a limited audience of just about 100 persons, mainly to support the artists who will be right. performing for you on the World Wide Web and, of course, on our media uh, channels that we have engaged, TTT and Tobago mm -hmm. Channel 5. It will begin at 6.30 p.m. I know that our flyer initially said 6, but it will begin at 6.30 p.m. Okay. And it is a short concert. Uh, being narrated in modern times using a lot of our young people at the way they their cultural uh, art the way they culturally uh, perform the arts additionally we will have uh, persons from communities across Tobago performing the from as far as Roxborough I think your Roxborough choir your Mason Hall uh, the drummers we have a large coming group from Mason and Pembroke who will be represented there amongst uh, others. And additionally, keeping ensuring that we keep the arm between Trinidad and Tobago, we would normally invite guests from Trinidad to perform. This year, we have invited Freetown Collective to be a part mm -hmm. of the experience. And so we do look forward to actually having quite an exciting evening tomorrow. And we certainly hope that persons will join us and join us in the celebration, though it is How oh, has the commission, um, you know, 100 people is still a significant number of people for, um, you know, an in-person, the in-person part of the event. How uh, has the commission prepared to, you know, con conduct the concert with this number of people? Absolutely. Um, the facility can hold a lot more than 100. 100 would be social distance according to the guidelines of the Ministry of Community Development and Culture. And also persons coming in will be expected to do their hand washing. They will be tested with the uh, temperature um, device at the entrance. And also, they are encouraged to wear masks. If you don't come with your mask, you will not be uh, seated. Yeah, fine. So we yeah, are following those strict guidelines. So, so important right now. So uh, let's speak about the virtual experience now. What would the virtual experience entail, really? Well, <clears throat> there will be a pre-show entertaining persons uh, engaging the guests who are coming in for their feelings about emancipation and some light entertainment. We will begin promptly the concert at 7 p.m. and it will end at about 8, 10 p.m. Um, again, it is a series of storytelling, narration, 
interspersed with entertainment. So we expect it to be quite engaging and exciting. We hope that the audiences will also participate online in terms of their comments, in terms of their uh, asking questions of the hosts, uh, especially part of the pre-show. All right. Well, with that, I want to thank so you so much for your time this morning. we want to involve everyone as if they're actually on site uh, but we are, we are, we are on the virtual platform. All right, Dr. Denise Soyefat Angus, I want to thank you for joining us this morning. We do have a sharp cut for the news at 7 o'clock. I've been chatting with Denise Soyefat Angus, Dr. Denise Soyefat Angus, Chairman of the Tobago Festivals Commission. And remember to tune in on TTT for that celebration, which starts at 6.30 and is also online. All right, we cut for the news upstairs for the news at 7, and we'll be back with the second half of the show after that.